Hi everyone, it's me. I'm back again. And this is video is long overdue. I went and went into the video on what is my diet like. I'm coming on to four years of no solid food. And I just wanted to, people have been asking about what have, what do I consume? What do I have during the day? And I'm going to go into that as well. But I also wanted to go into what I did year by year, because if I tell you what I have now, and if you're just starting out, then you you feel like you need to be there now and that was not my path my path was a slow like kind of eating my way into breatharianism so eating meaning you know taking in the liquids um, or non-solid food into breatharianism so I'm just going to tell you what my process has been so the first year I was having juices soups nut milk smoothies tea coffee uh, sauces um, thick sauces, you know, I was having everything, whatever kind of was not solid food, I was having, not worrying about the calories. And even then I was losing weight because my body wasn't used to it. So I started losing weight, but I had this craving for like different flavors. And, the, and you know, when you first start out, you, you want these flavors and this craving. So that's, I was doing all that the first year. And that was a huge jump from where I came from, which is like eating solid food. So I thought, wow, you know, I'm only having juices. I'm only having soup. So I felt really great about it. And I, I remember I, didn't really feel that I was being nourished by brown rice. I used to like go, oh my God, I need juices. I need to kind of nourish myself. So I used to go and, and get juices. Um, there was kind of a, a lack of trust that I was actually being nourished by prana. So I would go out and say, oh no, I need this, I need this. And there was all that stuff going on. Then the second year, I was doing the same thing, but I felt like I kind of became a little bit lighter in some ways. And in some ways I started craving things more in terms of more fats, more salt. I started craving these things. And so I felt like if I didn't give my body what it wanted, it was going to rebel. Being on the breath hand path is all about giving in and it's not about deprivation it's like you're almost you're eating your way into breatharianism and you cannot deprive yourself of food third year very minimal juices rarely would I have juices and soups are very minimal rarely would I have soups nut milk and smoothies no tea and coffee because I gave up caffeine during my third year and a miso soup for the salt that I would have. So that's what I did for the first three years. And now on to my, I'm coming on to my fourth year. So what do I consume now? Pretty much the same thing, except I don't do as much as I used to before. Like I would consume a lot more, but now it's a lot less. So I don't have juices. If I feel like having something like a fruit, then I would have a kind of a fruit that I can suck the juice out of. So I don't actually use a juicer. I just basically take an apple and suck the juice out of the apple. And that's what I do. Or if it's a mango, I'll pulp up the mango and take the pulp so I do things like that I'm in India right now and it's mango season so I've been having mangoes basically I'll leave a link below on how I make mango juice out of mangoes so I've been doing that and I make nut milk and I have nut milk but I'm feeling like my body has changed over the years like it doesn't crave the things it used to crave and so it's kind of getting lightening up more and more and more and more. So I'm really thrilled about that because there are certain things that I thought I would never, ever be able to give up. And so let me go into that. <laughs> so for example, before I started my breath and path, I used to love sourdough bread. Now, sourdough bread was like my ultimate favorite. I used to just put vegan butter on on the bread, like the, the front and the back of the sourdough slice of bread and put it on a skillet and toast it on the skillet and it'll become like golden brown. And I, then I would eat it. Like this is before my birthday and path. I would eat it and I would just love it, right? And that was like my everyday thing. I would have it in the afternoon. That was like, I would just every single day, I wouldn't miss a day without it. I would crave it, right? Like, so I'd have it. And so when I started my birthday and path, like the first six months or so, I was very like, no nothing 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 else went in my mouth and then I really started craving it so what did I do I actually made the sourdough bread put the butter vegan butter on it made it nice and crispy and then I would have it and then I would spit it out and so that was my craving that I satisfied by having the sourdough bread feeling the sourness of the bread feeling the texture of the bread 
feeling that butter melting in my mouth and all that stuff. And then I would spit it out. And so it satisfied that craving of mine. So that's one way that and I, kept, and I kept doing it until my craving went away and I kept having sourdough bread, sourdough bread, whenever I felt like having sourdough bread. And over time, I no longer want sourdough bread. So I let it go. And now I don't crave sourdough bread. So that just is kind of a testament to the fact that if you deprive yourself of it, you're going to want more of it. But if you just give yourself that, then you're not going to want it. Like if you stay on the breath in your path, your body is slowly changing and then you're no longer going to resonate with what you used to resonate with. Like for me, it was sourdough bread. And so I gave that up. I no longer, like I'll go to the grocery store and I'll look at sourdough bread. Before I used to look at sourdough bread and said, oh, I want sourdough bread. <laughs> but now I look at sourdough bread and said, oh, okay, that's nice. You know, I don't look at, I mean, I don't, I don't crave it and I don't want it. So, so that was something that my body doesn't resonate with it any longer because I stayed on the path, I stayed on the liquids and I no longer resonate with sourdough bread. So that's something I gave up. Not, not like out of willpower, but just out of not resonating with it. It's easy because if you just don't want it, then it's not like I will, but oh, I want it, but I can't have it. Oh, I want it. It's not that tug of war going on. It's just gone. Even before this on this path, I used to eat really healthy food and I would never have chips. I would never have junk food. But when I came on this Protean path, it's like after a while, your body's like, mm, I want some junk food. And so it started craving chips. And so then I, the chips have salt and it's like, oh, I want some salt. And then of course it's like deep fried. It has that oil in it and, and you, your body starts craving. And so I was like, okay, what do we do if I want chips? And chips comes in all kinds of flavors, right? And so you also get the flavor in your mouth. And so what did I do? I'm like, okay, well, let's try the same technique. So I would take the chips, like a bag of chips, put it in my mouth, suck on it, you know, get all the flavor and also feel the oil in my mouth, all the junk and the salt and everything. And then I would spit it out. So I did that and I did that for a while until, I mean, not like, every day, but whenever I got the craving, I would do that. And so I was like, okay, well, you know, and I kept doing that until I felt like I don't want to do it anymore. It's just recently I gave up. And I'm so happy to say that I gave up like putting chips in my mouth and spitting it out. Initially, I used to have different kinds of chips where, you know, they have salt and garlic in like flavored chips. So I would have that. And then when I gave up the onion and garlic, then I could only have chips that had salt in it way because my stomach could not handle that, but my mouth wanted it. So it was kind of like, all right, we're all happy. <laughs> my mouth is happy, my stomach is happy, and I'm happy because I'm still on the path. My stomach is happy because it doesn't need to, to digest all that food. And my mouth is happy because it wanted the flavor. So everyone's happy. So yay. <laughs> so that's what happened with the chips. I used to do the chips and craving for sugar. So, you know, the craving for sugar it's not as much, but I mean, I can't say I don't crave sugar at all. I try to use dates instead, like with my nut milk. I'll make the nut milk with dates. And so it has a little sweetness in it. So that works. Yeah. And so I just want to say that before my path, I used to be very healthy. But as you come on the breath and path, your body feels like it's being deprived. And so then starts craving these things. And so I think the key to it is to give in to the cravings and say, okay, yeah, you can have it. You can have it. Go ahead, have it. And then soon enough, as you continue to stay on this path, your resonance with that will change. And then you'll no longer resonate with those kinds of food. And then you move on. And that's what I have done. And my ingestions become lighter and lighter to the point where now I have about 400 calories a day. And so, you know, when I have cravings, like some cravings that come up, I'm like, oh, wow, I have a craving. Well, it's okay. Enjoy it because you know what? That's going to go away after a while. While. you know it's like you're not going to resonate with it so now that you're enjoying it those are some of those pleasures in life so go ahead and enjoy it is what I tell myself it's like okay go ahead and enjoy whatever it is that you want and so soon I remember like I used to crave ice cream and so I used to enjoy the ice cream and I'm like okay well, one of these days I'm not going to want the ice cream and so the day has come where I don't really crave ice cream so I really I, I've enjoyed the times when I've had the ice cream so the way to breatharianism is being kind and gentle to yourself. And it's almost like not depriving yourself of it, but giving yourself more of whatever it is that it wants. It just 
giving it, giving it, and continue to maintain yourself on this path by doing your breathing, by doing your meditation, and by setting out the intention out to the universe that this is what you want, by exercising, doing all those things that is required to get extra prana into your body. And so I think if you do all that, these things that you used to resonate with doesn't resonate. So slowly start giving up more and more of the things that you crave like the for me like the pizza and the sourdough bread and the chips and, and you start giving up all those things and i drive fast once a week at least once a week i do three and a half day dry once a month or at least once in a quarter once in three months so it was really important for me to be in a conducive environment, having positive people around me, being in a very uplifting environment, being with people that are positive, doing my meditation, pranayama, going out in nature, doing exercise, doing yoga, and all those things have helped me stay in a very positive state of mind. And, and even if negative things happen to me, I think I'm better able to handle the negative things. The stress level is really low. So even if some stress has happened, I'm able to better handle it. If my stress level is very high, then I wouldn't be able to, to handle whatever comes my way. And also, I don't think I'd be able to be on the breath, air, and path if my stress level was high. Because when your stress level goes high, you know you want to have food, right? That's kind of one of the go-to things that we all do. Yeah, it's yeah. not about depriving yourself uh, because then you come out of a place of lack. It's about abundance because there's abundance all around us in terms of all the pranic energy that's all around us. We cannot see it. But recently, I've started seeing the energy as I've been starting to do three and a half day dry, I can see the energy all around us. And I feel like we are just bathing in this energy. And so, yeah, we just have to know there's all around us and it's nourishing us. But anyway, so that is kind of my journey in terms of what I've ingested and what I've taken in over the years. I want to thank you so much for being with me till the end. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything, please leave it in the comment below and I will answer your questions. And again, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.